So, mm-hmm. Madame Olga Roux, uh, welcome to the Moscow Ballet. You are a rising ballerina and pedagogue, and in July this year you were invited to UNESCO's International Dance Council. What is that? So, International Dance Council <coughs> is a part of UNESCO, and it was founded in 1973 in Paris in the headquarters of UNESCO, United Nations, and uh, it helps to gather all the dance professionals, individuals from all over the world, and uh, it helps them to share their dance experience. And um, it was an honor being invited to participate in International Dance Council in July 2014, where I represented my research work, which was dedicated uh, to the modern dance. I graduated from Kyiv State Opera Ballet in Kyiv in year 2008. The first contract I've got was an Imperial Russian Ballet with Gidimina Staranda and uh, we were based in Moscow and then we were having different tours and uh, dancing in different countries. Then afterwards I uh, received a contract as a soloist in uh, Poland. in State Silesian Opera House and I worked there almost one and a half year. Then after my work in Poland I, I've been honored to work for a season in uh, uh, Cairo National Opera House in Egypt. Which was a great experience for me as an artist. Then after my contract in uh, Egypt I had the uh, possibility to work in France uh, for uh, six months, we will, we've been touring with um, France concert, and uh, for five months we were participating in the project in Paris, Swan Lake and other classical repertoire. And then after that, I came to work with the Moscow Ballet Great Russian Nutcracker for my first season as an audition director and as a soloist for the company. That was two years ago, and I'm, ha- I'm happy to be back to the United States. Uh, while I was working in Poland as a first soloist, I danced the principal roles in uh, ballets like Cat in Boots, and uh, me and my partner we danced uh, the main solo in uh, Night of uh, from Opera Faust, and also I danced a few solos in uh, Snow White Ballet. How is it like to perform in so many countries while you're still at your youth? Well, for me it's a wonderful <coughs> opportunity to see in other cultures. It's a cultural experience between different countries. And it's very interesting. I'm very excited of seeing new places and meeting and uh, working with new people. What would be uh, advice that you would give a young American child? <coughs> I think uh, it's very important to believe in themselves while they're young, to, to take the chance, to take the opportunity, come to do an audition and, um, and grow as an artist and as a person. And art would help to grow. I think that every city I go to, to make an audition and work with kids, it's, it's great to see their desire to, to get the role, to participate with adults, with adults, professional dancers. And um, I just see their eyes and how excited they are to, to dance on stage when they hear this music, this magical music of the Nutcracker. And um, I think it's, a, it's another world for them to be on stage, to participate in that fairy tale. I think that dance gives me a unique opportunity to express myself in different ways. Dance just makes me complete and um, any emotion, stress, or anything I have in my life, I bring it to dance, and it makes me understand myself more.